Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's Grade 6, Unit 3, Lesson 10, Practice Problems Review is on what are percentages. In our first question, what percentage of a dollar is the value of each coin combination? Four dimes. Well, each dime is worth 10 cents. And so if we have four of those dimes, that's going to be worth 40 cents. And since a dollar is 100 cents, 40 out of 100 is our fraction, which is 40%. One nickel and three pennies. Well, we're looking at five cents for the nickel, three cents for the pennies, which is going to be eight cents out of the 100, which is going to be 8%. Next, we have five quarters and one dime. Well, a quarter is worth 25 cents, and five of those, if we multiply by five, would be 125 cents. The one dime is 10 cents, and so add those together, and we get 135. The key is it's still over a dollar, which is 100 cents, and so this would be 135%. Continuing on to question two. List three different combinations of coins, each with a value of 30% of a dollar. Well, let's see. 30% of a dollar would be 30 cents. What different combinations can we come up with? Well, the first one is really simple. How about 30 pennies? We could do three dimes. And another one, let's just have fun with this one. Let's do one dime, one nickel. That gets us to 15 cents and then 15 pennies. All right, what about two different combinations of coins, each with a value of 140% of a dollar. Well, 140% of a dollar is going to be 140 cents. And let's start off with our fun one again, 140 pennies. That, that, that certainly will get it done. As well will 14 dimes. And now we can bring our quarters in here. If we did five quarters, that takes us up to a dollar twenty-five, or one hundred twenty-five cents. I could add one nickel to this fun. That's one hundred thirty, and then bring in one dime or ten pennies uh, to get it done. All right. Question three: The United States government used to make coins of many different values. For each coin, state its worth as a percentage of one dollar. Well, let's start with the half cent. Now, the half cent would be one half over 100. Well, don't overthink that. If two over 100 is two percent, one half over 100 is simply one half percent. Three cents is three over 100 which is 3%. 20 cents is 20 over 100, which is 20%. Two and a half dollars. Notice it says dollars. Well, two and a half dollars is worth 250 cents. So this would be 250 over the 100 to get 250%. And five dollars is worth 500 cents. And so 500 over the 100 cents in a dollar is 500%. And as we continue on to question four now, we're going to be looking at a double number line and percentages of $50 now. Complete the double number line to show percentages of $50. Well, notice that we're divided here into 25 percent, and so I like to start off with my percents, and if I count up by 25, 25, 50 percent, plus another 25 is 75 percent. 
then plus 25% is 100%, plus 25% is 125%, plus 25% is 150%. Notice then on the top number line here, we're increasing by $12.50. And so if we add $12.50, you get now $25. And hopefully that makes sense that 25 is 50% of 50. Add another $12.50 and we get $37.50. And then if from $62.50 to our 150% number, we're still adding $12.50 here. And so that would result in $75. And it's really neat the way percentages work. For example, if I look at 150% here, that's 100%, which is 50 plus the 50%, which is 25, and so it's 25 plus 50 as well to get that 75. All right, question five. Elena bought eight tokens for $4.40. At this rate, how many tokens could she buy for $6.05? And this is a review question from lesson nine, and I like to make tables for these types of things. So if I were to make a table here that had token, and money, and so I have eight tokens for $4.40. Now, we want to figure out $6.05. Well, if I break this down first to $1, I can take $4.40 and divide it by $4.40 to get the $1. Likewise, if I take the eight tokens and divide by $4.40, I get this kind of crazy decimal here. And that decimal is 1.81 repeating. Now, I've told people keep that in the calculator because now we're going to multiply by $6.40 and five cents or six and five hundredths to get our number of tokens. So if we do that and multiply by six and five hundredths or six dollars and five cents, we get 11 tokens. So we can buy 11 tokens. Now, the 19 tokens, well, creative way of getting to this one, eight tokens was four dollars and forty cents. 11 tokens was $6.05. Well, if I add $4.40 with that $6.05, isn't that the same thing as adding eight tokens to 11 tokens to get 19 tokens? It is. And so when you add those up, you will end up with $10.45. Creative way of getting there. Now, if you didn't have that as an option, you could take your eight tokens for $4.40. You could have a target goal here of 19 tokens, which would mean you need to break this down now to one token. So you could divide the eight by eight. It's not quite working, there we go, eight, maybe. There we go, kind of, that's supposed to be an eight. And then if we take our $4.40 and divide by 8, we end up with 55 cents a token. If you multiply that 55 cents a token by 19, you can get $10.45. So if you didn't notice the 8 tokens and 11 tokens can add up to 19 tokens, you could solve it that way as well. All right, one more review question. A snail travels 10 centimeters in four minutes. At this rate, how long will it take the snail to travel 24 centimeters? And then how far does the snail travel in six minutes? Let's make a table again. We have centimeters and we have minutes. We're told 10 centimeters in four minutes. And we're trying to get to 24 centimeters? Well, once again, if I can break this down to one centimeter, I'll do that by dividing by 10. 
And so 4 divided by 10 is actually 4 tenths. And then we'll multiply by 24 to get from 1 to 24. And when I take 4 tenths and multiply by 24, you get 9 and 6 tenths. It's going to take 9 and 6 tenths for this little snail, 9 and 6 tenths minutes for this little snail to travel 24 centimeters. Now, what about the 6 minutes? You know, again, if we start off with our unit rate 10 centimeters in 4 minutes, and we're now trying to get to 6 minutes, we could look and go, well, what about 1 minute? If I take 4 and divide by 4, we get 1. 10 divided by 4 is actually 2 and a half. 1 times 6 is 6. And then 2 and a half times 6 will tell us how far it traveled in the 6 minutes, and that answer is 15. So, we're looking at 15 centimeters in those six minutes. Continuing on. Three tacos cost $18. Complete the table to show the cost of four, five, and six tacos at the same rate. Well, let me uh, come up here to... Oh, actually, it does say here, here, I'm sorry, rate in dollars per taco, dollars per taco, dollars per taco, dollars, 18, per taco, 3. 18 divided by 3 is 6. This rate's not going to change. This is going to be $6 a taco. So if I have $6 per taco and 4 tacos, 6 times 4 is 24, 6 times 5 is 30, 6 times 6 is 36. Reminds me of that... Uh, lesson we did a little while back, equivalent ratios, or what was it? Equivalent ratios have the same unit rate. That's it. <laughs> Anyways, that is it for this lesson. Unit uh, 3, that's it. Unit 3, lesson 10, grade 6, something like that. What are percentages? Good luck.